I had sold my previous franchise business after 20 years and was taking my young children to pigtails and crew cuts when I was approached by the original owner, the lady who had developed pigtails and crew cuts. I ended up acquiring the concept from her with the intention of building it into a national franchise company. And last year we hit 50 franchise locations around the country. Each franchisee is assigned a franchise support specialist, someone that's available to answer questions and give guidance. We also have an incredible group of franchisees, peers, that are always willing to support each other. We also understand that not everybody has experience in the hair industry, so that's where we come in as a franchisor. We will train you on all aspects of the business. We're here for you, and that's really what our job is. We help with site selection, lease negotiation, things that you, most people have never done before. Once we did sign on and we went down, we met with corporate, we had a multi-day training where we went through everything from inventory to hiring to the POS to the financial side. I mean, just really gave a very wide and thorough overview because our salons cater to children, we're not open late. So franchisees are able to have dinner with their families, give baths, put their children to bed. So owning a Pigtails and Crew Cuts can create a great work-life balance. Our children are young, um, and we enjoy the freedom that being your own boss presents. Um, but being with our kids is really important too. And we're able to do both. Even in difficult times, parents will still do for their children. They will still provide what they consider the best services and products for their children. So our business thrived throughout the recession. We just opened our second location and uh, we've been thrilled with, to see it grow and how quickly it is growing. So right now we're really focused on expanding our market share in our second location. And, um, but who knows what the future holds? <laughs>